walk across the drawbridge and we are going to see if we can get our junior ranger badges for this park. So after they built this fort, the British decided they wanted to try to take over this fort. And so they marched tons of their soldiers down from up in the Carolinas, up above us, up north. They marched them down and so everybody from the whole entire city of this whole town had to come inside this fort. And they had to be packed. Yeah, they yeah. had to be packed in here and they had to stay in here. And they brought, when they came in, they brought all their food and they brought their animals. So the food would be stored in that wall. And then their animals would be held in the moat outside. So the moat was not actually full of water, it was full of grass, and they put all their animals out there so they would have a place their animals could stay and not run away. And the British didn't want the animals, they wanted the fort. Yep, they wanted the fort. They were trying to take over the fort. And the British stayed outside for not one day, not two days, 51 days they stayed outside. They thought that all the people that were all stuck inside here, all having to live, eat, and sleep in here, they thought they'd run out of food and they would give up the fort. They didn't. Because the ships came. They got word that they needed help and ships came. Oh, so they loaded in there and they're like, well, we attacked from land. We don't have any boats, so how do we? Yep, so they <laughs> retreated. They ran away. Cool, that's good. And so the people that were in the fort went. Castillo de San Marcos is North America's oldest masonry fortification. Spanish Floridians began this fortress in 1672, more than 100 years before the United States even became a country. That was cool. That was cool, right? This fort had paintings all the way around. Every single one of these cannons and necklaces were cannons. And if one cannon would fail, like let's say it hit right here, but it didn't hit the target or it didn't work, they had two other cannons that marked the same spot. Repeat after me. As a junior ranger, As a junior ranger I promise to explore our national parks, explore these important places, and share with others what I have learned.